that's closer than a brother. And you can feel that love and fellowship between you. How many understand what I'm saying? So if you don't understand prosperity till you can sense God flowing through you to be a blessing to others. You might like answered prayer, but you haven't lived till you become the answer yes. to someone's yes. prayer. Yes. 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 They don't make a Mercedes that good. That's right. They don't make a, a big house in the neighborhood that good. Are you hearing me? Yes. When all of a sudden you do something and obey the Holy Ghost and they go, oh my goodness, we didn't know what we were going to do. We just cried out to God. Yes. And this is exactly what we prayed for. Man, quit being a hole that never gets filled and start being an artesian well yes. that never runs dry. Hey, hey. Which one are you going to be? Somebody answer me. Who's going to be the, the deep well, of abundance? Praise yeah, God. Amen. Right. So right now, I want you to look at this because I am going to give you some specific revelations that I have never taught them before. The most powerful, listen to me, I want you to get this in your notes. The most powerful form of wealth in the earth is glory. Hmm. Joshua, without sufficient glory, you could never be mayor. Couldn't become a senator. You couldn't be promoted in a job, Don. What is that glory? The glory of the Lord shall rise upon you. Your light has come. You see, men will do anything for glory, not money. Glory. Because they see it as a wealth component that causes everything else to work. If people don't trust your tree business, man, then they're not going to call you and you're not going to make any money because there's no glory. There's no excellence. Thomas, if people don't respect what you say and, and see your glory, then they're not going to listen. Right. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Tim, that commitment to excellence when you show up on a job, that's why you get jobs. Now, it's not what you do, it's the covenant commitment to walking in the glory. And He meets all our needs according to His riches in The first reference to glory in the Bible was referring to money. Wealth. Are you getting this? The greatest wealth in the earth is glory. And that's the greatest wealth we're to take it and give all of it to God. And when the greatest wealth you can possess in the earth ascends into heaven, whatever you want is going to come down. Because when you let go of that, you let go of ego. You let go of self-centeredness. You let go of greediness. When you give Him all the glory. But when you do your giving to be seen of men or you do your ministry to be seen of men or or you want to take something going on like is going on in our city and you just want to make sure that all your obedience is on a platform for political gain. But when you say, God, I'll obey you if all it is is in secret. I'll obey you if all it is is behind the scenes. I'll obey you if all it is is to support certain people that are going to a place where they can be effective and I'll be here in the, in, in the background. It doesn't matter. Because God receives the glory. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, listen to me. It took the devil thousands of years to figure this out. You don't know what I'm talking about. I hope you're listening since you don't know. Because I didn't know. I heard the Lord say, it took the devil thousands of years to understand the glory is the greatest wealth in the earth. Look at Matthew chapter 4, verse 8. And again the devil taketh him up into the exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. He had finally not gotten the money, he got the glory done of every kingdom. And 
watch this. And he said unto him, All these things, say it with your mouth. Come on, let's say it together. All these things, not people, things. Things. If you were tempted Jesus today, do you think a yacht would be in one of those things? Sure. Do you think a villa on the Mediterranean would be in one of those things? Do you think a big investment account would be in those things? Do you think a private jet would be in those things? Do you think a big mansion in multiple cities would be in those things? Anything. It's all the things. All the things. And he said, all these things will I give you, Jesus, if you will just fall down and worship me. I'll give you all this wealth of physical things if you will just give me the glory. Not a man. <laughs> and Jesus said, no, no, that's not more. Because the only one I worship is my Father. Hallelujah. He and He alone gets the glory. Are you getting this? Until we are willing to light the altar with the fire of the greatest wealth in the earth and not touch any of the glory. And when that ascends, here comes the blessings of God. You can call it seek first the kingdom. You can call it whatever you want. But it's always the same meaning in every story God tells us. Put me first. Hallelujah. I put you first. Put me first. And if you put me first, what do you have to worry about? But it's the glory. Why? Because the Bible says that when we look not to things seen, while we're looking not to things seen, then all these trials activate. It does. It says it activates an eternal weight of glory. The glory starts working. What glory? The glory you've been given God. Hallelujah. The glory you've been given God. The greatest wealth in the earth is glory. That's why Lucifer was willing to trade every single thing in the earth for Jesus to give him all the glory. Amen. Are you following that? And Jesus said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bring the wrong order. I'm not going to bring the cosmos in. I'm going to keep in right order, the kingdom order. And then now here we are. Give him all the glory. Amen. Give him all the glory. Amen. Give him the tithes and offerings. You say, well, I'm just going to give him glory. I'm not going to give him any money. Well, eh, thanks for playing. Bob, show him what he wins. Oh, nothing. Because the first time glory was mentioned in the Bible, it was what? Physical, financial wealth. Why? Because God knew if you won't start there, you won't end in the right place. Mm -hmm. I want all the glory. Yeah. All the glory. Prepare your tithes and offerings. Prepare your obedience. This is not works to earn something. This is just doing what Daddy says. And just obey Him. Show God that you are not afraid of the consequences of obedience. Hey, if you were to fear anything, it would be the consequences of disobedience, wouldn't it? Yeah. And thank God, you know, God's love has hit some of us so hard we're not even afraid of that because we know God loves us and He'll forgive us. But don't let his forgiveness finance iniquity. Yeah. There you go. You understand what I'm saying about that? So let's pray. If you need a, if you need an envelope, Jesse will give you an envelope. And I want you, I want everybody giving today. Everybody do something. Do something. I will, I don't want any plumbing clogged up. Amen. I don't want anything plug, plugged up. And if you're watching this video, praise God, we love you. You're right here with us, glory to God. And you can just log on right there at jacobswellky.com forward slash giving and just go right through the prompts. It'll go right into the PayPal and it goes right in electronically into the church account 
Praise God. You can go on Venmo. If you got Venmo, and you can go to uh, Jacob's Well K Y. Actually, it's uh, at the little A with the circle, that symbol, and then at Jacob's Well K Y in Venmo, and you'll get it there. It's got my name on it too, but it goes right into the church account. Praise God. Amen. I said Amen. amen. Praise God. Are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? It's okay, won't we? All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray right now. Take your times and your offerings right now. Hallelujah. 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 Do you understand you govern your atmosphere? Yes. Tim, do you understand it is not the economy that affects how many jobs you get? Because there's always more jobs than you can do. It's your faith that determines how many jobs you get. Amen. So if there's only 10 jobs out there and, and you could only do seven and there's a thousand people needing a job, well, there's going to be 999 people fighting over the last three jobs. Amen. Because you get the best out of it first. Yes, amen. amen. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Hallelujah. And you said, well, that's not fair. That's right, it's not fair. All right, well, let me tell you what fair is. There's a synonym for the word fair, hell. hell. Go to hell if you want fair. I don't want fair. I want the love of God yes. and the faith of God. Oh, yeah. And when people say, well, how come you're always getting the best peace? I say, because I'm his child. Yes. You, you can be his child too. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. You know, until you say it's so bold, your unrenewed part of your mind goes, what? You, you haven't gotten your own attention. <laughs> amen. You, the spirit man, need to get the attention of your soul and shake yourself. Till you know, hey, this is the one I believe. Hey. Amen. So take your time your offering. Everybody ready? Yes. Everybody ready? Hold, hold it up. But I need an envelope here. I'll just, I'll write it all in later. But hold it up right now. It's a symbol of your faith. Yes. Say this. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. Abraham, Abraham, my father, my father gave, tithes gave tithes of everything, everything. to Melchizedek. And now here I am, the seed of Abraham, giving time to you, Jesus, after the order of Melchizedek. And I thank you by that, that the windows of heaven are open, and that I am poured out a blessing, not according to the economy, but more than I can hold, because holding it's never the issue. I'm a giver. Hallelujah. Now begin to give God all the glory. Tell Him I give you glory. The fire on my altar is glory given to you in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a shout of praise. I mean, give Him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, lift your hands to heaven right now. Come on, say this. Say, heaven came down. I'm not even hearing you say it. Amen. Hallelujah. I ain't going to obey God again. Just obey your prophet. Just come on. Say it. I keep hearing this all during worship. And I just want us to close with this. Come on. Say it. Say heaven came down. Heaven came down. And glory, glory. filled my soul. Glory. When at the cross, the Savior made me whole. Come on. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Do you sense that at all? Do you sense that? He liked that. Let's do it one more time. Come on, say it. Say, heaven came down and glory filled my soul. When did it happen? When at the cross. Say it. When at the cross. The Savior made me whole. The only reason I can obey Him is because He's healed me. And he's made me the person I am. He's not done, so if you don't like it yet, just hang around. He's still working on some things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's stand on our feet. Hallelujah. And we're going to close in prayer. Thank you, Jesse. Just please. Glory be to God. Now, if, if you have a team of wild horses trying to pull you away, then I just make glue and dog food out of those horses. Because I would not miss next Sunday for anything. Now, that's my blanket statement. Now, if some of you individually 
feel like God's leading you to do this or do that or whatever. I know Tim, you told me some things that you think might be issue with your family. Whatever. You obey God. i got to speak to everybody. Everybody listening here. I would come and I would not miss this. The prophetic word was that on the summer solstice that turning would start. And so the Lord told me on the 21st, which is the traditional summer solstice, He said, have communion and anoint every family with oil. Oh, and He said, begin to pray for them. And I am telling you, if you're on the right side of this, God's blessing is going to just abound. Amen. But not, this isn't why we do it. It's like Emily said, we're doing it because those blessings are tools to do, do kingdom work. But if you're on the wrong side of it, I would say by fall equinox, you'll either be fully qualified or fully disqualified for what's going to happen next. There are already some things God's been speaking to me about what's happening next. And I can't... I just, oh wait, I just want to make sure you hear it because it's hard to hear when you're talking. I want to make sure you, I want to make sure you don't miss what's happening. So this coming Sunday, I'm going to do what God told me to do so you can hear. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank, thank you, Lord. for the blessing of the Lord that covers this flock. That we are a prophetic church. Part of our job is to hear. Part of our job is to say. And Lord, we hear because you give us ears to hear. Not because we're so spiritual. And Lord, we don't say everything we hear, but we say what you tell us to say, when you tell us to say it. And the words have created this planet, surely those words will set it right on its course. And we declare this day that Satan enforcing the courses of the cosmos will not control our city or our lives, but the paths of heaven will govern us. And the stars will fight by these paths against every enemy of the things of God's glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I love you guys. I love you guys. Praise the Lord.